Welcome to NAB 2017. My name is Mark Kuster. I'm the product manager for the Amira camera system. And I talk you through the new features and updates on the Amira this year. The new RE Look Library offers 87 looks which were created by our post-production services, RE Media, and which ease workflows in terms of grading, in terms of using looks in the camera very much. So looks are loaded onto the camera and can be selected from there. They can be baked in or can travel as metadata in a lock C recordings. In that way, the creative decisions on set or in preparation of a production are much easier because you can select from predefined looks without having to go for a grading system. Another update is the master trip support. The master trips now support with ENG lenses all three axes, so that is focus, zoom and iris. And uh, for all kinds of ENG lenses, whether that is PL or B4, there's also an update on the EF lenses. The EF lenses are supported for iris and focus directly with the master trips. It's also a very nice feature. Another feature is the anamorphic D-squeeze. We have a 1.3 anamorphic D-squeeze for the preview. So that's perfect for 1.3 anamorphic lenses shooting on the 16 by 9 sensor on, on the Amira and then D-squeeze them to 2.39 in the post-production. Another feature is the CAP protocol that allows remote control of look parameters but also allows operational functions be remote controlled by an app or by a grading system connected to the camera by wireless or by Ethernet. We have a dedicated jam code function now which is making jam sync much easier than it was before. Also supported now is that when once you have a sync time code and you switch the camera to higher frame rate you're keeping the sync time code. So if you come back to your project frame rate, the time code is still in sync. So you don't need to sync, resync it again. Uh, on the F lenses side, the, the protocol is, is very much improved. So a much larger range of lenses is now supported with the F protocol. That includes also EF lenses from other brands. And uh, it also includes support for the stabilizer for EF lenses, which include a stabilizer. On the user setup side, we have now refined the functionality. The user setup is now divided in certain blocks. So when you save a user setup, you can decide whether it includes only lens data or only user button assignments or maybe the recording codec and the resolution. So in that way, you can decide what kind of user, what kind of settings you want to travel that travel with the user setup. In multicam, you can now select different looks while you're in multicam mode can go for HDR looks, can use predefined looks, or you can even use the look library and select looks from there and use them in the multicam mode. We have a new Wi-Fi infrastructure mode that allows us to connect the camera to an existing Wi-Fi. And that way you can control multiple cameras on a single Wi-Fi. We have new magnesium side covers for the Amira, which make the camera more than 100 grams lighter. And we have updates on the accessory side. We have SAM3, which is a blade for the Trinity integration. And we have the SAB2, which is a accessory bracket for mounting accessories to the Amira. Thanks for joining us here on NAB. For more information, please visit our website at ari.com.